Hey, Weaves here with episode 10 of my Baldur's Gate 3 stream highlights. We're still exploring Moonrise Towers and are about to meet the big boss. Blood Trail, I shall follow it. Oh, no, no, not this way. Not this way. Shit. We did as we was told, oh. General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to uh -oh. retrieve the artifact. Uh -oh. You failed to do so. Uh -oh. No, no, it was Minthara. She got the orders. She. Enough. Yeah, Minthara's dead because I killed her too. Energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpoles, worms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Don't kill them, the law force. Nah, do what you want. I ain't gonna tell you how to worship your tadpole. Keep silent and keep watching. Keep silent. Mercy, General! Please! We don't want to draw General attention. Thorne. Let our newest arrival speak. Oh no, you weren't you supposed to see me! What these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? Damn it. You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. I can't remember what these gnomes people did. I don't even know who they are. I mean, presumably they tried to find the thing. They are faithful soldiers. I could do with some allies. Yeah, like my memory sucks. And that was also like 65 hours ago. Plus all the rest. So, I mean, did they commit horrors in the absolute name or were they just having some fun? Because I let him go multiple times. This, if, this, if it is the same guy, which I guess it probably is, then this is the third time I've met him now. Fuck it, set him free. See? What I tell ya? Praise the absolute. He does sound kind of familiar. Faith without action is anemic, sickly, in a word, useless. <sighs> I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. Well, I ain't gonna save them. Ooh. Well, it's not the first time he's died. A little poxy halberd's not gonna do it. Ah, of course it is, yes. What's that J. Jonah Jameson himself? Try again. Nice. I like how she didn't bother going anywhere near the armor this time. No. No! The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Well, she said however you wish. Don't question the boss. Just take him away. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this. Do. Have fun. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Hey, boys. Well, okay, boy and girl. Guess who's gonna be MIG sex slaves now? Spill your guts on the floor! No. Not another word. In fact, not another breath from any of you. <laughs> Get that goblin body. Please, like she's gonna notice a goblin dong. His dong would have to be the size of his entire torso for Mig to notice. All right, let's watch them bleed, eh? Cause I mean, I'm literally not gonna release them. So we see the fight them. Psh. Watch them suffocate themselves. Kind of brutal. I mean, kind of awful. Blood, well, someone's gonna enjoy it. No! F please! <laughs> I'm gonna spend this whole stream making everyone stab themselves in the gut. I do enjoy a bit of casual bloodshed. Now come, I'd like to know more about this Sorel. All right, let's go loot that body. Loot that body. I can't remember how the tune went with that Tom Cardi video. 
very heavy gray text description it's really very heavy you got this racha you're gonna be the bestest true soul there ever was all you gotta true do is trust minthara listen to the absolute and do as she says then you get your audience and you'll be proper rewarded i feel like i'm using the wrong accent now don't go listening to them fakers like dren dren does not hear shit gotta be cockney yeah right what should that have been as someone who lived in the East End for about two decades, you would think I would have a better Cockney, but I don't. I'm trying to think what Cockney is. All right. Then you get your audience and you be proper rewarded. Don't go listen to them fakers like Dren. Dren does not hear shit. Why are these tapestries so good though? Although I've played, I've been playing, I'm just looking at these tapestries. I'm fucking obsessed with these tapestries. I've been playing, um, Pentiment, which the art style is very much influenced by weird medieval tapestries. And I'm looking at this dog like, no, that looks too much like a dog. That's not right. Pentiment itself is not like, it, it's an interesting game, but I don't think I really understand like the structure of it, which means I get a little bit confused when stuff is happening. Because I'm like, wait, is this just story? Did I make a choice or what? Is this a choice now? Does this have impact? Is this a dream sequence? You little beholders. That's how you deal with them. Poke them in the eye with a big stick. But this, I like this because this is exactly the kind of tapestry you would have in this world, right? Like, look, there's a peasant like about to puke his guts out because he's seen beholders. But beholders are real. Also, I think beholders are supposed to be a lot smaller. But it's still cool. I really want to do like some cross stitch or something for these tapestries. <gasps> what happens if I sit here? <laughs> I am your leader now. Catherick defied gods and raised an army for the absolute. It is not particularly comfortable. Oh, gracious one. It is a pleasure to be in your mighty sanctum. Damn right it is, Astarian. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm so glad there was actually a thing for when I sat in it. Gonna need knives though. I'm not Kyle back hoarding every knife ever. Ooh, pork sausage though. Pork sausage. I tried to make pepperoni this week, but I got perception check. Mucus. Mmm, let's touch the mucus. Let's not. Living flesh or some residue of it. Perhaps something nests in the rafters above. How can those guys share a dorm with Mig, who talks about meat in the walls, and presumably have lunch here, and not be like, oh yeah, you know, there's definitely meat in the walls, and instead be like, oh yeah, you know, Mig's hallucinating, there's definitely no meat just spilling out of this fireplace. I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the absolute gave New waifu, me Barnabas. Oh no, this lady. Do you like the gnomes? Write the lives of her faithful. Yeah. I mean, she is cute. I believe there's something better. Nulls are beasts. No. All animals can be friends. You've actually... Yeah, let's get some more information. You've actually stood before her? I have. It is one thing to hear her voice. Quite another to feel the power she can grant. Observe. I'm going to speak to animals and then talk to this big dog. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. Bet she's mind controlling him. Like he looks very werewolfy. Uh. Catch a ball. Play dead. How about a dance? Uh, I'm gonna say you decide so I can see what she makes and then talk to him later. And see what he thinks about it. The prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature. Inexorable mm -hmm. as Definitely a lithid power. <laughs> He does not want to say that. Oh. No, Barnabas. We told 
Dead boy. What about this? Even Astarian looks troubled. Oof. Wisdom, sever her control once and for all. Or reinforce her efforts with your own, or it seems an artist commanding as you think. I don't want to do any of these. Even though, like, it would get me a point with Astarian, because I want to talk to the dude. You're not as commanding as you think. They battle silently for a long moment. The oh, shit. The heart drumming with strain. Then all at once, his heart stops. Well. <laughs> oh, Barnabas. I'm so sorry, my darling. Wow, well, I'd send that it's he's sincere. The first to die. Her love is simply too much for some. I hope you will fare better when your time comes. Oh, fucking evangelists. Who are just like, oh, my love for my religion trumps everything. <sighs> yes, I blatantly hurt someone, but you know, I did it in service of religion. So actually, I was right. Fuck off. Sorry, Barnabas. I was intending to help you. I didn't think you would die so quickly. Araj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous <gasps> arts. It is a pleasure to stand Hello. before a true soul and your pale companion. Hmm, it's gotta be number three. Why are you interested in my pale friend? <laughs> Please. You think someone in my line of work wouldn't recognize a vampire spawn when they see one? I trade in blood, and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one, if you'd honor me with your blood. My with blood or his blood? I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. I'm suspicious. Yeah, what are you gonna do with the blood you keep? Bad things, that's what. Research, naturally. A little experimentation, perhaps. What kind of posh? I mean, who cares? Sounds interesting. Just a little prick and it's all over. Ah, ah, Close ah, your eyes. Ah. There we are. All of your very best traits in a bottle. Use it well. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your vampiric friend. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. You oh, definitely I bite. He did. <gasps> Competition. I to you. <laughs> He's his own person. Excuse me. He's his own person. He does what I tell him. <sighs> See, even without the points, I would not say number three. I. No, I would, because I'm trying to bang him. I would definitely say the first one anyway. Because I know his slavery issue. Excuse me, he's his own person. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, hmm. Spawn? Uh, Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, a story. Oh, vamp fetish. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire. Drain this bitch, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. Take her, Astarian. you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This I mean, this is like just a time fetishy thing. And you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. <sighs> Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? Why not, Astarian? See, now I know that it's like, he said no, there's no more to discuss. Like, we don't want to try and force him. But I'm also curious, like, I want to know why he won't. I'm not going to tell him to. Even though, like, if I was playing Astarian, like, as my character, I'd be like, yeah. I will indulge in your fetish for some potion, but also I might just indulge in your fetish for fun, right? Hmm. I'm gonna go with I'm surprised. Am I though? 
I do like my points with him. But I'm not going to lose any, so I'm just going to go I'm surprised. Because absolutely, I would have thought he would just, you know, have a nice meal. I'm sorry, but could you excuse us a moment? Yes, let's have a conversation. Are you actually asking me to do this? No. Trading me for some, some, some potion. Because there's something wrong with her blood. Oh. I can smell it from here. It's rank. Well then, he's prob she's probably trying to poison you. Don't be dramatic, it's just a bite. <laughs> One nip and you're done. No, what do you mean? What's wrong? Let me know, I'm interested. I can't say. It just smells wrong. Unnatural. Drinking it wouldn't kill me, but it would not be pleasant. I don't have all day, true soul. Oh, absolutely, Kando. But on the other hand, like, it is someone who has a race fetish, but also blood makes you stronger, right? Don't do anything you don't want to. Yes, yeah, see, see? I did the right thing. All Suck right. it up and bite her already. Uh, thank you. Don't thank me. Uh, it's still a no, I'm afraid. How very disappointing. Thank you. I appreciated that. Bit weird. At least I don't have to drink her weird blood. Like, maybe she just, like, filled herself with garlic for fun. We don't know. Oh, yeah, these are my stuffies, by the way. I found a stuffed owlbear, which is so cute. And once again, I have no pets. I, f I think if you have pets, you can play with them with these. But since I don't, I'm just carrying stuffed toys around like a big weirdo. Make baby! One soul. I thought about making a few null sex slaves to you, but the game, for some reason, didn't make that an option. How strange. I found your wall meat, though. Telling! Tell me! It is... I don't think it's the Absolute. That's just mean. We're not supporting the Absolute. We're not trying to brainwash her into the Absolute. So we'll just say... It is some kind of illithid being. Uh -huh. Okay. But... How taste... Oh, she wants to eat it. I didn't lick it. <laughs> uh, make thought... True souls was brave. Go lick it yourself, woman. Go to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, this game. I do like the weird, goofy stuff they have in it. Is that a whole chest in your chest? Maybe. Oh, no, that's a toy chest. Which is like super small. And I picked it up like maybe something might in might interesting. Maybe something interesting might happen, but it didn't. And I was like, well, I'm just going to put it in my camp anyway. I, uh... <gasps> oh, my God. I want to thank you. You want to bang me? Oh, <laughs> for being so wonderful in bed. Hmm. He's trying to be genuine. But I'm still going to do it. I want to thank you for what? No, for being a good lay. Yes, that is definitely what I'm saying. And I don't have to stress about this because I can see it has no effect on how much he likes me so far. I mean, maybe it affects branches later, but that's fine. That's my problem. For what you said. Ugh, fine. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow. Well, I don't know I she smelled bad. 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. Mm. To throw myself at her. What I wanted be damned. But she didn't. And I'm grateful. Consent is sexy. Mm. Oh, minus 15. I regret stopping you. That potion would have really helped. No, bad. I was hoping that as a reward for my support, you three us having me. No, Kando. I just wanted him to like me a little bit more. You make your own choices now. No, Kando. We're not that desperate. I don't, I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. Are you getting sentimental on me? Yeah, that's rude. 
You make your own choices now for better or worse, which is what I would choose if I didn't see all the numbers and I still don't see all the numbers, so. I mean, one and three are basically the same thing, right? I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do and you make your own choices now, but three seems stronger to me. Lies. No. I mean, yes, but also three. Four plus three. No. It's been so long since I've had to make these decisions for myself. I won't lie, it's a uh, taunting prospect. He's so pretty. It would have been so easy to bite her, to just go along with what I was being told to do. I didn't tell you to do that. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. It would have been wrong. Ooh, I mean, wrong is a moral judgment. How often are we disgusted by your targets? That's interesting. Just oppressed it and moved on. Sounds healthy. That is rude sarcasm, but also the kind of thing he might say if he was feeling judgy. So why sleep with me? Did you think you'd get something from it? <gasps> Let's make this about me. No, we are making it about him. Kind of him, kind of... Mm, tell me more information so I can manipulate you. I mean... Be the right girl for you. This is definitely though. I'm looking at number four like, ugh, a moment of disgust to force myself through. And did you think, were you doing this to me? No, that's so self-absorbed. Okay, number two. How often were you disgusted by your targets? How are we disgusted? I am talking about you now, Astarian. Uh, I, I tried to pick beautiful people where I could, but there were so many over the years. After a while, you stop caring. <laughs> the entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. That's anything so sad. Tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. Oh no, he's definitely he's saying that people were disgusting sometimes. Like I was his slave, <laughs> even in freedom. Mm -hmm. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. Yes. Yes, you are, my boy. I care about you. Maybe what you really need is a friend, not a... <gasps> no. Oh. See, I'm looking at number two. Like, this is the problem I had before. If I hadn't seen this number, I would definitely not pick this one. Because it's like, oh, no, I'm being a... No, I'm never going to be like, no, I want to be friends. Because it's essentially what I want to be friends. Or it's like making him pursue me and like that's not what mm, I mean that's okay but it's not a guarantee you've had four said to me yeah I slept with you because I wanted some fun not to do with this that's kind of what I said to Carlac it was like I <laughs> just fixed Carlac's heart and she like super super duper had the hearts for my character through the whole game and I was like you know what that's fine let's do it so we did we fixed her heart we did it. And then I was like, I have to go talk to my boyfriend now. Oh, she's so intense, Rooster. Exactly. So I went off to talk to Astarian and Astarian was like, oh, you and Karlak. And we had a few conversations where he was like, he was trying to pitch it as like, oh, you know, well, if Karlak's interested in you and you like it, then you should be with her. And I was, I didn't say like outright, I want to be with you. So he dumped me. Like, every time I picked an option that wasn't I want to be with you, he was like, no, you should be with her. Go be with her. Bye. I was like, oh, no, Astarian, please. So I reloaded a lot. And I was like, okay, Astarian, I want to be with you. And he was like, what? Why? Okay, fine. And then I had to go back to Karlak, who I literally just slept with, like, the night before. And she was like, oh, no, how could you? What is this? So I had to break up with her. Like, I didn't know she was watching. It's a very small camp. She was so ornery. She was like, I can't believe you waited for me to find this. I was like, it's been two minutes. It takes me two minutes to walk across the camp. I told you immediately in order to respect you. I can't remember why I started talking about this. I mean, even if I was her first time, she was very, very, very into it. So I don't feel bad about that at all. Hey, I never, ever suggested we were in love. 
It is not my responsibility if her feelings are too deep. And all I did was be honest with her. Because right before we banged... No, actually, no, right after we banged, she was like, I love you. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> you were never endgame, though. We had already done a Starian, and then we were like, you know what? I like you too. Why not? Let's do it. And then like, oh no. Oh no, you like me too much. He was already like 90% boyfriend. I didn't even know he was going to suddenly become boyfriend. I don't think he knew either. He was just like, oh. Oh no. You tried car like, oof. Better lock that down. But also he's super insecure. So he was like, eh. Maybe another friend. Not a little. No. We want to bang this man forever. Tortured, rude, oversexed vampire boy. That is what we like. Well, I don't know if that is what we like. Like, I was okay. I was like, mm, he's okay. Will this little adventure of ours be over? Mm, what? Will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? Oh, no. He's hot. You've been to the hells and back. Tortured vampire twink. Like... Please, give me it. Anyway, we're gonna ignore this and be like, I care about you because he's so broken. Like when I said previously, oh, I wanna be with you. He was like, what, why? And I identify with that because that is absolutely how I was in my early 20s. He was like, wait, what? Wait, you actually like me? Oh, shit. I didn't say it out loud because I'm not stupid. Right, I'm just going to be like, Oh, I care about you, Astaria. And also, we can murder and hurt people together. Really? Yes. <gasps> Open your mind so he sees you care or hug him. Nah. You're worth a great deal to me no matter, no matter what you're going through. Nah, that's like extra boring. We can be together without sleeping together for as long as you need. Excuse me, no. But like, no. He wants to bang. We're not going to give him like, we're not going to be like, oh, no, we don't have to bang. He might like say otherwise, but still like. <sniffs> yeah, based on the previous conversation, easy five. That's where I'm at. You have the choice here, Astarion. I. <gasps> don't know. It's been so long since I've had to decide what I wanted. We can fix it. Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. Aww. Or what comes next. We're gonna bang a story and that's what comes next. I mean, no. Oh, we're gonna hold hands. More. But I know that this... This is nice. See, since we've already banged, like, twice, that's kind of hot. <laughs> and suddenly not hot at all. Open this cage, you munting asshole! 